हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आपको पीटी आई नाम रतन प्रिया एज आई एम कवरिंग ऑल द बेसिक मॉडल्स ऑन वेल सिटी सीपीयू दैट वाज रिक्वेस्टेड बाय वन ऑफ माय सब्सक्राइबर सो एज आई ऑलरेडी कवर टू टॉपिक अंडर फाउंडेशन दैट वाज हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट एट्रीब्यूट हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट पिक लिस्ट सो दैट ऑलरेडी कवर्ड अप सो इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल ट्राई टू कवर ऑब्जेक्ट हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट अ सब टाइप ऑब्जेक्ट सो इन दैट केस यू नीड टू ओपन योर प्लेग्राउंड एज आई ऑलरेडी ओपनड माइंड एंड इन Inside the playground, you have to go to City Product Console. As you can see, under metadata, there is an object, and you have there is one search option that you have to click. As we are not allowed to create directly object, object is nothing but two type. One is a standard object, another is custom object. So CPQ always allowed is custom object. Inside the custom object, we can modify, we can create some type, and we can inside the sub type we can use some further. Label of abstraction that was allowed by the CPQ. So as you can see, these all are custom created object. How we can get a difference between how we can check this is the standard object, how we can check the custom object. So one basic and important difference is whoever object having the underscore CC at the last uh, that was the object API name that was a custom created object. And whoever is not able to recall that what is standard. Object, what is custom object? I will highly request you to go and cover some topics from the trade held or any any course on the velocity, or you can directly. I will recommend you to go to the cover all the administrated part from the trade held and some topics from the developer. Then you will able to understand what is the difference between the standard object and what is object. So as this video is not dedicated for those things, so move forward on the next thing. So as we wanted to create. Create a sub type object for the product. I wanted to create object for the for the product task. So for that reason, we have to go into the dot two object. As you can see, there is so many created object for every purpose. Like for creating attribute, we have attribute object. Context action, we have a context action object. And for the context dimension, same for the context rule and all these things like a rule, rule set, section, time, plan, policies. These are things. As I already concerned about the product, so we will go into the product to object. We have to press edit button. As I already mentioned that we are not able to create a newly object. We just have to use and we have a abstraction to be use a custom object. As I open that. Object two, so we have object type option that we have to select a new object type. As we can see, object type inside the one object we have another object type as well. So these are the super type. These are the first level of abstraction of the product hierarchy. As these are see, product is nothing but instance product. Okay, In object type instance, and this one the this all base product base offer specific base product. These are the super type. These are the first level of abstraction and inside a base product is specific you can see some child are there as well like accessories backpack these are the sub type object so we can now move forward to the base object is specific as i already concerned about the whole like product only so that's why i will just press edit button as you can see the base product and there is product parent object the parent of nothing but is all about product to object only now we wanted to create a new object type so let's create the new object type but the parent should be i wanted to be keep that parent so be base product product is specific type so let's keep the name that product name is dummy appopedia product specific type that i wanted to keep and the parent object type is nothing but base i will keep base product let's search that it will come as you can see i it came so I'll just select this one so i added under this category it will come okay now we have to check this is active and then effective from today i don't want to keep effective until it will it will having the end life date and that i won't, don't want for now this case so don't keep for my case i don't want if you wanted to expire this object type by tomorrow or by one week or by one month so you can keep that date inside the effective until and then you have to keep the select button so now it 
it's saved now we have to check it's created or not now so i will just go click the drop down and i need to insert the base product specific the object name is dummy apopedia product specific that that is created so as you can see now we have to fix this we have to add some attribute so as we created attribute before uh, last two lectures so that we will add it so just keep the assign attributes and field and then you have to search that attribute name so my name the created already created attribute name is number of subscriber attribute and then check this one and then assign it it will directly come under this one so let's see that as you can see i assigned it it come now we have to go into the layout management layout management nothing but where you wanted to see that attribute as you can see these are the section for creating the object so for the first time it should be created whoever is created for this custom object it should be created for one object created we needed a facelet and section section for the layout management facelet for that whole lay whole the section as you can see this is the facelet and this is the section and that all come under the layout management as you can see so that was created these are created for the base product that was for base product and for base product we created all these things for the product too that was it come under the base product it's all about layer of abstraction like just like layer of inheritance if you see if anyone having the object oriented uh, concept to be understand that it's all about that inheritance whatever is created for the parent and it inheritance by the child and parent all features will come under the child category as well so like that it happen here so it's level of abstraction nothing with its level of abstraction and then inside it attribute property inside the attribute property attribute properties nothing was facilitate and inside it two section was there Di design time attribute and run time attribute Design time attribute is nothing but like just the attribute which you wanted to add it that was configured for the first time only when you added the product into the cart. So I wanted to add that design time attribute. If you wanted to add that same attribute, you need to keep the attribute. So as you can see, add section element. So design time is will always applicable for the first time only and run time is after like adding the product and you wanted to be add some values on that attribute then we can add attribute inside the run time so add the section we can create any other section inside that attribute in this attribute property and attribute fields and that was also the same thing attributes and field it's all about the property what was the property of that attribute like it's a design time for the value for the design time or for the run time and attributes and field it's nothing but just talk about only the attributes and field that you that was the section and for attachment there is other section and then for product structure that was for based on the parent and child relationship inside the product that we will handle under the product structure pricing is all about for every product it should be pricing if it is orderable if it is for consumer product then it should be pricing right for for that purpose we have to use the pricing facet for adding some sections or some pricing like b2b or b2c pricing list and context was all about that context rule that was covered that was a whole big topic that we will discuss in later on and then layout management and then the work these are the just an attribute that was all covered under the api topic so these are the basic layout management just just see the basic way of thinking that what was the function of every section or every facelet so every object needed to be created then it should be having facelet and section then only we are able to create an object but in, as we are only able to customize a custom object we are not allowed to create any standard object or any creating custom object we are just allow for a use of custom object or we can modify some changes inside the modification or changes inside the custom object so at that's it we can create in this way the object so we will move to the next videos and i will meet you in the next video till then stay tuned with me and do not forget to subscribe my channel leave your constructive feedback on my channel bye bye